The purpose of this video is to generate a sequence similarity network, just like this one. At first, this seems to be a daunting task, but the process is actually simplified thanks to publicly available tools. Today, I will be using the enzyme function initiative tools and Cytoscape. Specifically, I will generate a sequence similarity network for a protein in Xenorhabdus nematophila called NLPC and its closest 1,000 homologs from other bacterial species. I specifically want a network wherein NLPC homologs from Xenorhabdus are separated from NLPC homologs from other bacterial species for some downstream analysis. To do this, go to efi.igb.illinois.edu and click on efi-est and choose sequence blast. You can then add the FASTA file for your protein of interest in this query sequence. You can add a job name and I'm just going to use this FASTA Heather, Heather as my job name and put your email address and then click on submit analysis. Using BLAST, EFI will gather 1,000 sequences that are similar to the sequence that I've inputted. You will get an email saying that your request has been received and another email once the initial calculation is completed. I got my results within 25 minutes of submission. Once you get the email, click on the link provided and you'll get to this web page with initial analysis of the sequences that you got. For example, if we click on here, data set analysis, you can see um, on this graph, you can see a histogram of the sequence length of the homologs retrieved. Before proceeding, it is important at this point to identify the alignment score to use to generate your sequence similarity network. To identify this alignment score, you can scroll down to this percent identity versus alignment score box plot. As a starting point, EFI recommends using an alignment score that corresponds to 35% sequence identity. So in our case, around here. As you can see, all our points are above that 35% threshold so we can um, pick the least alignment score which is 51. Don't worry too much about picking the alignment score because in downstream processes you can always increase it if you want or if you want it lower you can resubmit a new analysis. Once you figured out your alignment score click on SSN finalization Add your alignment score, in our case, 51. You can change your network name at this point, and then click on Create SSN. You will again get two emails, one email saying that your SSN is being finalized, and another email saying that your SSN has now been completed and is available for download. Mine took around 10 minutes to get both emails. Once you get the final email, click on the link and you will get to a web page that looks like this. By clicking on the network files, you will see a list of networks that you can download and visualize. For the full network right here, all protein sequences you retrieve will be represented separately. For initial analysis, I prefer working on a representative node network, specifically networks in which protein sequences that are 100% identical are represented together, um, which is this one. So I can download this network 
And this file has my sequence similarity network, which I can visualize using Cytoscape. To download and install Cytoscape, just go to cytoscape.org, download the program, and follow the instructions. Once you've download, downloaded and installed Cytoscape, open the program. It would look something like this. It's a processing intense, intensive program, so it takes a while to load. And will be faster if you use a computer that has great computational power. To open the sequence similarity network you downloaded, just drag the file. In my case, it's this one into this box right here. And your network will appear on this window on this side. As you can see right now, it's just a black box. But what you can do is click on Layout. And then I, you can pick whichever one, which layout you want, but I usually prefer this Y files organic layout. And this helps create a network um, that we can use for some analysis. In this network, the sequences are represented as nodes, that is these blue boxes while they are connected by lines or edges if they meet the alignment score you initially set. In my initial network, you can see that everything is connected to each other. Since I want to separate NLPC homologs from Xenorhabdus species from those in other bacterial species, I need to start adjusting the edges in this network. To do this, we first clone the current network by clicking on the network and then file new network and clone current network this will generate a copy of the network that we can play around with from this new network we can start to destroy edges to do that click on the network and then click on this filter tab and add a column filter. Since I want to create networks based on different percent identity, I will select edge, edge percent ID. Here's the current range of the percent identities for all, all our homologs, 53.45 to 100%. As you can see, the minimum per percent identity is 53.45, which means that nodes that are greater or equal to 53.45 um, identity are connected. To alter this, you can set the upper number as 45, which selects all the edges at and below 75. In your network, this is highlighted um, by doing um, these edges are highlighted in red. Then you can click on edit and delete selected nodes and edges. Now all those edges that you selected that are between 53.45 and 75 have been destroyed. It has not been reflected yet on the sequence similarity network and so you have to readjust it by clicking on layout and organic layout. Y files organic layout. You can see that there seem to be more separation between the nodes now. We can keep doing this. So now we can go up to 80. Again, delete those edges. And then do Y files organic layout again.
in this sequence similar network, you could see that the nodes are separating more. However, um, we can try to see if um, Xenorabdis is um, separating from NLPC homologs from Xenorabdis or separating from NLPC homologs from other bacterial species. You can type in Xenorabdis and press enter. All nodes that represent Xenorabdis NLPC homologs are highlighted in yellow. And as you can see, although they're starting to separate from the other NLPC homologs, they're still connected. And so we can increase this to 85. Again, destroy these edges by deleting them. And then we adjust the network. At this point, you can see that there are clear separation from a lot of the different nodes. And if we look at NLPC homologs from Xenorabdis, you can see that majority of them are clustered away from other NLPC homologs from other bacterial species. Although there are some node, um, a couple of nodes that were not included in this cluster. Thus, I can use this network for downstream analysis. There are a lot of other research questions that sequence similarity networks can be useful for, and I hope this helps you get started. Good luck and thank you for watching.